What's up, everybody? It's Roger and James here, from the Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking all about uh, Fortnite, and it got a, a Marvel mode, which was something that was kind of very much unexpected. It kept, literally just dropped in last week. There was no leaks or anything. It literally was, it's coming, and it's coming tomorrow, and it was live, which brought uh, Thanos, Thanos. Into, into, the, into the actual Battle Royale, and he's a playable character. And it's a kind of a kind of cool mode. It's become extremely popular because they've taken two of the biggest things really going on right now with Infinity War and Fortnite, put them together. So there's a hundred person battle royale, though, and basically you've got to eliminate each other until there's, there's one man standing or one woman standing, or probably more than often just Thanos standing. And from that, you kind of it was kind of it's a really cool mode. I mean, I've been playing Fortnite a little bit. I'll be honest, I've been playing it before. And my friend's kids had kind of got, were addicted to it and kept passing the controller to me whenever I was over there. And kind of like snuck in through that way. And so I have been playing it. And then suddenly that hit. And that's pretty much what I've been playing all week. Um, so what about you? Um, well, I downloaded it to try out the Thanos mode. Mm. Uh, I've had friends who have been trying to get me to play it for a while. And I could tell before I played it. I knew it wasn't a game for me. I mean, we, this isn't new to mm. any of our long-term listeners. Uh Overwatch, Battlefront 2, multiplayer, etc. None of these are really things that get me. Uh, but I did try it out for the Thanos. Um, and yeah, I was right. It's not for me. Um, <laughs> you, I had some live commentary going on with you. We, of course, played a couple games. Yeah. We Not not Thanos mode, because that's only uh, single player. Or, uh, you can't team up in no. the Thanos mode, at least not officially, and trying to get into the same mm. game as somebody is impossible. Uh, but we did do the 50v50. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you still got the chat log from that, but I was basically going, this is so boring. Yeah. This is so boring. Well, it was, uh, yeah. I was going to say, because I think it was, a, I had not done that 50 50 mode. And I think that the reason why it got so boring was it was just hide and seek at the last bit. Well, they camped out by a fire and you just, you know, 10. I was thinking, it's like 16 to 1. There's no chance this guy, and he won because he camped out. And the storm just come in and took everybody out. I'm like, I couldn't believe, and I got killed by a, a trap. But there was no, it was like there wasn't even anyone to fight against, and I got killed by a trap that, or I fell off a cliff. So I was, I was doing quite well at that point. Yeah, and I will say, you know, um, there was that brief bit in 50 v 50 where um, the two sides meet for the first yeah. time, and there's still like I don't know 30 or 40 people left on each side at mm. that point. And there is that great hectic meetup, yeah. cinematic. Uh, gladiator two armies clashing kind of thing which was cool but that was 20 seconds of a 20 minute game yeah and that was ultimately not it but but the 50 v 50 doesn't have thanos so that's not really relevant to this and i will say that mode was a lot more fun yeah but still not something that i'm personally going to go to now uh, that's obviously all personal opinion if anyone listening to this is a Fortnite fan i'm sure we've got plenty of them uh, yeah, you're going to love that Thanos mode if you haven't tried it out yet. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. I was going to say, it's just massive, isn't it? It's just a, a massive co- um, team-up that I don't think anyone saw coming, and I think I think it was genius. I think this was a, a fantastic move for Marvel and Epic Games. Absolutely, and it's kind of interesting that um, Marvel or Disney or whoever brokered this deal did go with Fortnite rather than with PUBG, because I believe PUBG is still considered, like, <laughs> The, mm. the more popular, but it, that might have shifted I know, over the past has, week or has, two. Yeah, well, it has shifted to Fortnite for a while now because of the mobile stuff. But also, I think Disney have got a, um, a cut in Epic Games as well. They've got, well, that um, would I, make sense then. I think they, they... I remember seeing their name coming up in some things where they were like start-up deals. You know, they, that start-up thing they do every year with different companies. Epic Games was listed as one of the companies they were in. So they, they might have a little bit of... Um, a, a bit of ownership of that company anyway, which doesn't surprise me. Um, but I think Fortnite definitely has come to the thing. But also, I think there was just a general thing of the mode was so fun. And it was he was massively overpowered, completely over just, you know, you, anyone, if you're up against him, you're really going to struggle unless you're very good. And a lot of people have been calling for this mode to be permanent because they love the fact that it's so challenging and it's very different from the standard game because you've not only have you got to just kill each other, but there's this overwhelming person that you need to stay away from or have different. I saw different kind of strategies of people going up high and trying to um, 
stay out the way from him. I mean, he was just blasting them because he couldn't. They had to get higher than his jump so they could shoot at him. But then he was just shooting them out from. And I saw one game end where they shot them down, and the bloke just went splat and died. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that was kind of cool. Um, and you can see people trying to make um, and like using their like disco ball, throw it at. Him. Thanos, so it stops him, so he has to dance while they then shoot at him. You know, that was like the only way, really, it was just seeing him dance to, to a boogie board, and it was, it's just, it was a lot of fun, I really enjoyed it, but I, there was, this, strategy started at the beginning of everyone trying to get to the gauntlet while hanging around, and then, like, 20 people went to go for it, and that was like, uh, they've been making so many adjustments, they've been, like, tweaking this mode daily, sometimes multiple times a day to kind of get it. They've been bringing them up, bringing them down. They then delayed the, the Infinity Gauntlet so it's not coming in straight away. You know, they're, they're watching to find out what's going on in the, in the community. Yeah, and I will say, you know, it there is that interesting strategy element to it because um, while it is everyone versus Thanos, it's still everyone versus everyone, as you yeah. mentioned. So... Once someone becomes Thanos, that doesn't mean you're safe from everybody else. Because actually, uh, I played the Thanos mode, I think, five or six times, and I never actually died to Thanos. I always died to other people um, on my way to Thanos. And, yeah, so you have to try to, to do team, because one-on-one -on -one you're not going to beat Thanos. Yeah. Just not at all. But then what happens after you beat Thanos, the Infinity Gauntlet falls, and now you've got five or six people all standing around being who's going to be the next Thanos, and it turns into... So, I do like the idea of it. Um, I'm just not you yeah. know, into that kind yeah. of game. But, it, yeah, Fortnite players, it, this is a great mode. I, I've, I'm glad they I, added it. I've been enjoying it, and it's been quite nice in some ways to have it like connect up to Marvel a bit, because it's like, you know, this is... I've been sort of, sort of playing, and then like the last week I've been playing it pretty much every night, because... I mean, everyone's going to see for the next two weeks that all the videos are just going to be full of um, uh, Fortnite um, gameplay in, on the on the video versions, and everyone's going to see just how bad I am, but also how much of a chicken I am because basically I just hang around the edges and hide in bushes, and my kill ratio is awful. I get down to the last two or three, but eventually I get I, I have to move in. And I have a stretch, and I can get down quite low. And I've got down to the final two on many occasions, at which point Thanos then did kill, kill me. But I just can't, I can't get the hits. I've got a strategy for surviving. I just can't win enough. <laughs> um, I, think, bush. I think the lowest slide. I got was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> plop. Uh, I think the lowest I got was like 18th or something like that, which was fine. Um, I can, yeah, I can see the appeal of the game, but. Yeah, yeah, it, I it, it, it's great for Marvel. It's great for Fortnite. It's great for Epic. Um, and it's yeah, free. It, and it's free. I was gonna say it is free. Uh, it would be nice if there was like a skin or something that you could win from it. Uh, obviously, not the Thanos skin, mm -hmm. but something to commemorate. You know, I participated in this, or I was in the the top five, or I was Thanos. Even if I didn't win, I was Thanos, mm -hmm. and I you get something. You know, to market because all all the things that you can buy, all the things that you earn are purely cosmetic. So, whatever, the, throw it all out there. Yeah, it's funny. I was having this. I was having an argument with a six-year-old about this, but and a nine-year-old because he was saying, "Buy this and buy." He goes, "How many credits?" I'm like, oh, "No, no, don't buy. I said, don't buy anything." And he goes, "Yeah, yeah, it gives you shield." I said, "It doesn't." And I said, "Yes, it does." And his sisters then going, "No, it doesn't. It's all cosmetic." <laughs> Like, no, it's better. It makes you better. It's like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> you know what? For the kid, I'm sure that if he thinks it makes it better, him better, it probably does. You know, it's like the it's the magic feather yeah. from Dumbo. Yeah. You yeah. know? So. It's, the thing is, I mean, all the kids at schools are – this is a massive thing. One of my staff members, you know, they've been having arguments with their kid about how much they – you know, this – Fortnite is a phenomenon. And also um, – this is just great timing from for Marvel getting this in there. I think there's a strip. I mean, I think we're going to start seeing skins and stuff coming in. Apparently, this got put together because the Russo brothers were massive fans of the game and like reached out to them and said how cool it would be. And they literally like wired it up, kind of. And I'm just, I mean, you think of how normally Marvel is so protective of its characters, and they did this. But I mean, Thanos is super powered. I mean, he definitely, but it. It would have been would have been great is if when you get the Infinity Gauntlet you just go and half them go, 
just need <laughs> literally that would have just like literally every time someone becomes Thanos they can click their fingers I mean how quickly the game would just be over it's like half the people just whiz off yeah I, I mean there's there's something to that idea but also given how random the game can feel yeah. anyway yeah because it, it you can be a very very skilled player um you, you can know the build orders you can know how to build a tower very yeah. quickly all these things but um if you don't get the items, if you don't find the chest, it's got the super-powered shotgun or the grenades you need, it doesn't matter that much. So no. adding in another random element of like, oh, yeah, 50% of the characters <laughs> just died <laughs> for no reason. That I, yeah. Yeah. Thing, I think it's, I mean, it's like when I play like with my friends, and, you know, the kids are just like, go over there, there's a chest there. Go in. They know where everything is. They've like memorized these maps. And obviously some things have changed because... They put like a big crater with like super powered gems that make you everything, and like it's just it's just been a lot of fun, and um, we've not had a lot. I think it's like you know we always talk about free to play games. This is such a very different kind of play to play the game, uh, mobile. It really is a mobile, but a very effective way. And also you can you can play it without spending money, and it, and I think they've got the. I think they definitely feel like they've got that mix right. Uh, everything being cosmetic and the battle passes to get people to spend money, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. No, and and that was good because you know um, there are incentives to spend money. I I can see the allure, and it's not a lot of money either. Mm. The battle pass is what uh, ten dollars, five dollars, yeah. something like that. It's not not a lot of money. Um, if you are a Twitch Prime member, you can link your Epic mm. account to Twitch Prime and get some free stuff at least for this month. Uh, it's just some skins. It has, it's nothing connected no. to the event itself, but that's still pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, the fact that it's free and the fact that you literally do not have to pay for anything is great. And then I found this out by accident over the weekend. Uh, a couple, I'm sure Fortnite players already know this, but they do have cross saves <clears throat> between at least a couple of the systems. Because I started on PC. Um, I played with my friend who's been bugging me for months to play. We played on PC. And all of my progress on my character was still with me when I played with you on yeah. PlayStation 4 this past weekend, which is great. The, th this is something that I want more games mm. to do. Battlefront 2, Overwatch, like we mentioned. I would be far more likely to jump into some of these games if I could have the progress across multiple yeah. systems. Because part of the reason I don't jump into these games is because like, if I'm playing with you, we're on the yeah. PlayStation. I've got friends in real life who, if we're playing, we're on PC. I've got... Uh, some member of the Res community. If I'm playing with them, it's on Xbox, yeah. and I, you know, I have. Uh, if if I didn't have to level up my characters, yeah. or if I could have all that loot that I collect be the same on any system that I play on, it doesn't have to be cross-platform. Like I can't play Xbox One with a PlayStation yeah. Four version of it. Whatever, but if I if the stuff I can get on the Xbox transfers to the PlayStation, so when I play with you on the PlayStation, I still feel like I'm making yeah. progress. There are many more games that I'd be willing to invest time into. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for. Um, I think everyone's just waiting now for Fortnite on Switch, and then we'll be set. But generally, um, I mean, if they get it to work on an iPad, they must be able to get it on there. But yeah, generally, uh, just finish a rough. Really, the the Thanos mode. Awesome. Go try it out. We don't know how long it's going for. It is a limited time event. You know, it could be gone and dusted. Um, I know I'm going to be playing it a few more days at least this week. Um, it was actually that kind of thing of actually finishing off God of War, which we're going to be talking about later in the, in the, um, the week. And then this game kind of, because originally I was just going to jump back into Kingdom Hearts 2 for a couple of weeks because I was like, I don't want to jump into Tropical Freeze. I'm keeping that for my holiday. And I'm like, then this hit, and it's just perfect timing of something completely, and also so different from anything. I, um, and the only thing is, it did stop me from playing Battlefront 2 mode because this one's just a lot of fun. But um, uh, you didn't want to play with the Ewoks. I did play with the Ewoks a few weeks gotcha. ago, and it, it was a lot of fun. But Thanos just—it was just a great mashup. I think it was fantastic. Um, if you haven't played it, go try it out. It's free. You really can't go too far off that. And um, any last uh, things on that? No, I think, like you said, it's limited time, but I would expect it will come back when we get to the DVD release yeah. of Infinity War. So if you miss it, it will almost certainly come back uh, mm. at some point. 
but still, it's free. Yeah. Uh, it's on any system that you have except for the Switch or the yeah. Nintendo DS or something like that. Yeah. But, heck, it works on your phone probably, yes. so give it a try. Yes, so on that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back soon with another episode. Make sure you go find us over at DizKingdom.com, all the different social medias. Like, follow, subscribe, leave us reviews, etc. And you can find us on Patreon as well. James, where can they find you? Find me heroiclegacy.com. On that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back soon. Laters. Later.